la 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 Oh, hello everybody. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. As you guys already know, I made a video directed towards Bering, giving my thoughts and opinions about the gay marriage issue in Australia. And upon watching the video, I feel as though I didn't give my thoughts and opinions justice because it was only two minutes long and I did it off the fly. And so for this video, I want to get into further detail on why I disagree with Bering on his video. In the video response directed towards Dusty Smith, he says that he's not going to vote yes because he has concerns in regards to free expression in Australia. The reasons why I feel as though that the fear is unjustified is because the bill itself does not say that it will actually remove free speech from the Australians who oppose gay marriage. According to the rough draft of the gay marriage bill, it mentions that churches are allowed to discriminate gay people if they want to not serve them for their gay marriages. It also mentions that it will redefine marriage from the traditional definition to a newer definition. Although the bill mentions that church owners are allowed to discriminate, it does not mention that business owners are also allowed to discriminate. I think the main reason why that is, is because back in 1991, they passed an anti-discrimination bill that would not discriminate people based upon race, religion, orientation, etc. To sum it up, churches are allowed to discriminate and businesses are not allowed to discriminate because of the pre-established 1991 Australian law against discrimination. And neither the anti-discrimination law nor the gay marriage proposed bill didn't mention that it will suppress the free speech of others if they disagree with gay marriage. In other words, this idea that somehow gay marriage will lead to the death of free speech in Australia makes little sense to me. Although Australia does not have a First Amendment, according to a Supreme Court case there back in the 1990s, it says that political speech is actually protected speech. If somebody were to say, that they disagree with gay marriage, they're protected underneath that Supreme Court case. The example that Barron gave about the woman being fired from Facebook is not something that is exclusive to Australia. For example, there was a trans woman who used to work for L'Oreal who later got fired because of her racially charged comments. The First Amendment is there to protect people from government tyranny. It is not there to protect people from getting fired from their jobs if they get fired. In other words, the woman getting fired from her job is not really an example of suppression of speech from the government, but rather a business trying to fire a person because they disagree with her opinions. What I'm trying to say is that the Australian Gay Marriage Bill does not seek to suppress speech of other people because there is no such thing within the bill itself. This idea that somehow gay marriage will suppress free speech comes off to me as some sort of slippery slope, but that's my personal thoughts on the matter. What are you guys' thoughts about this matter? Please tell me down below, and until uh, next time, take care.